Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. How are you all doing? I have one of my new sweaters on from Sheen, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, I love it. It's so comfortable. It's really like cozy and it's all distressed and I love it. And I also, I've been wanting to do this for so long. I don't know if I'm going through a midlife crisis or not, but um, for those of you who have watched me in the past and have been friends with me for a long time or customers of mine over the past year, you'll know that I'm on a weight loss journey. And I lost a, cons a considerable amount of weight over the last year and a half. And with that, coupled with stress, I lost so much hair. Like my hair got so thin, guys. It was crazy. So the other day I was like, you know what? I was looking at pictures of when my hair was like really, really thick and I had these big buns and I could do all kinds of stuff with my hair. And I was like, oh man, I really, really miss having that. So I was on Ulta and I saw that they had, um, these extensions that you could put like it's a ponytail extension and you can leave it curly or you can brush it out and then do whatever you want with it but I said you know what I'm gonna try that because this way I can have my long ponytail back and I can also put it up and wrap it and make a really big messy bun so I got it and I got I don't know guys, like, I don't know. It's just, like I said, a midlife crisis, but I'm actually having so much fun with this silly ponytail. And I know people are gonna laugh at me and say, oh my God, she's being so vain, blah, blah, blah. But it's not, but this thing has brought me so much joy. I just feel like different. Like, I don't know, I feel cute, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I got the little, po you know, the big long ponytail. And I just, I don't know, I just feel like a, a whole new like me today or something with this. I just think it's cute and it's fun and I can do all kinds of different looks with it. It's super simple to use. If you guys are interested in it, I'll give you the link to Ulta and the actual um, product. It was, I'm trying to think of where I put the box. It's, it's just a pony, 23 inch pony, I think but it's really good quality it's super simple to put on and like i said it matches my hair perfectly which is awesome but i don't know like i just i've been playing with it and i don't know it's just so cute and i just i don't know it's just something different you know so anyways that's my that was my purchase um i don't know i just really really like it really like it so I think it's just cute so anyways now that I've rambled about a ponytail um it's just brought me so much joy this morning <laughs> I was going to return it because I was like oh you know this is silly you're 51 years old you should you know like stop but then I'm like you know what yeah I'm 51 but I don't have to feel 51. I don't have to act 51. Like, who says what a 51-year-old person should act like? Like, who's to say, who's to dictate what I should, like, act like? Like, and what I should like? And, you know, just because I'm 51, you know, this is like, is this not considered something that a 51-year-old should wear? Like, I don't care. Like, really, I don't care. It's made me happy this morning. It's brought a smile to my face and I freaking like it. So you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to try all kinds of hairstyles and that's going to give me more content too because I can show you different ways that I'm using this in my hair and someone else that has thin hair might say, oh wow, you know, that's definitely something that I want. So you know what? It's okay. So I'm keeping it and I'm going to have fun with it. So anyways, <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyways, guys, okay, on a more serious note, we're going to go in and we are going to do some makeup using our Wonderlust palette again. 
I did order a primer from um, Ulta because I'm out of my Stroh primer from pharmacy and my matte primer from pharmacy, and I'm waiting for that to come in. And Ulta, for some reason, Ulta's been being delivered to me so quickly because I ordered some other stuff, um, hair accessories and things um, from Ulta, and I got it within a few days. So it's been really really quick so I was out so I ended up just getting this um I heart revolution coconut dream hydrating primer with vitamin c and e and that's what I have on my skin today it actually feels really nice it's a little bit tacky which I'm not so in love with but um but so far it feels pretty good so I got that and we have a great um time time locker setting spray and we have a b fit setting spray but they were having a thing with i heart revolution where you bought one you got something else 50 percent off so i was like well you know what i might as well just pick something else and get it for 50 percent off so i ended up getting two um priming one's a priming spray so it's a nourishing priming spray and it's toasty avocado it smells amazing really nice and then the watermelon dewy makeup fixing spray so i figured i'll give it a whirl i love our setting sprays you cannot compare them to anything our time locker your makeup stays all day. It doesn't go anywhere. It's a really, really good setting spray. So I would never stop using our Time Locker or our Be Fit setting spray, which I, I mean, I love it. I have three of these because this one's almost empty and we had a sale. So I ended up during the sale um, event, I got three more of these because this is like empty almost. And I use this all the time. I love, love, love our Be Fit um, spray. So... But I figured take advantage of the sale. I'm always a sucker for a good sale and getting something for cheaper. So that's what I picked. That was all I got. And then my hair. So who says you can't pay for extra hair? <laughs> when I bought this, I thought of the, um, is it Ariana Grande song? The one that's, I don't even know who sang that. It's awful. I feel old now about, I I like my hair I bought or something like that whatever but you know what a song I'm talking about um that's what I thought about when I bought this hair extension so funny but anyways let's let's get to what you all came for <laughs> which is makeup I'm gonna go in with my luminous um serum foundation I love this foundation. Now, I've been using the Flawless Touch Powder Cream, and I fell in love with that, and it's so reasonably priced. It's amazing. I've been using that so much, but I'm like, Charlotte, you can't just use one foundation every single time you do a video. So this is in the shade 04. Um, I love this. It's really, really good if you have dry skin. It's lightweight, but it's full coverage. And we have a, a variety of of foundations okay we have two setting sprays we have two primers and then we have a multitude of foundations we start off as simple as a tinted moisturizer all the way up to our full coverage foundations guys so there are so many to choose from they're all priced differently they all do a little something different they all give you a different amount of coverage but luminous is pretty much a full coverage foundation it is buildable it's lightweight so even if you are building it up it's not going to give you that cakey heavy feeling at all and we have several um shades to choose from so that's really good too and if you need help being color match just let me know and i can help you with that so this is the one we're going to use today usually what i do is i just kind of go in put some on my face and then i'll go in with my damp beauty blender and then we'll go in and we will blend it all out now what i like about this one too is the fact that it has a glass bottle and it also has this dropper applicator so your fingers never touch the product and your applicator if you direct apply it directly to your beauty blender never even has to touch the beauty blender you can just drop the product onto your hands your face or your beauty blender so that's a really good 
um, thing to have because we all know bacteria and stuff. So that's another really big reason why I love the Luminous um, Foundation for that reason, especially with, you know, with everything going on. I almost said the C word. Um, with everything going on, I think it's a really, really nice feature to have right now because, you know, sometimes you forget to wash your hands before putting your makeup on. Not that you shouldn't um, wash your hands before you're putting your makeup on. You always should. But if you forget, um, at least you know that this product can be put directly on without you having to ever touch it. So I just think that's a really nice feature. And... I'll tell you guys, my sponge, I don't know what is going on with it. Oh, do you see this? Like, do you see this? It looks like a carnival peanut, like one of those orange carnival peanut candies that used to get the big orange. They're gross too. They're like marshmallowy or hard marshmallow. Like that was sitting there for five years. Those orange peanut things. Oh my God. I have no idea what is going on with this, but... I love this beauty blender. I mean, this was my favorite. And I went and wet it this morning. I washed it the other day. I let it dry. It was fine. It was its normal size, living its happiest life in its little holder. Just, you know. And then I go to wet it today. And wh what? What? What is going on? Like, what is going on with this? It does not want to go back to its regular shape. I don't get it. And the more I use it to pounce on my face, the flatter it gets. And it's just not going back to its original <laughs> shape. So I don't know. I squeezed all the water out. Um... If you guys know what's causing that, let me know and how to fix it because this is like my favorite one and I don't want to buy another one if it's just going to do this. I've only had it for like a month. So I don't know what is going on. I was like, are you kidding me? So I don't know. Maybe it's having a bad day. It's, I, I, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's on strike. Like, no, nope, lady, you've used me way too much. Um, today's the day of rest for me. I'm not going to do what you need it to, me to do. But it's just weird. I've never, ever, ever had. Look at this. I've never had a sponge do this. Like, guys, can you see that? Like, what? what is going on? I don't get it. Uh, but anyways, okay. <laughs> But I'm still using it, so I don't know. Okay, so we did a nice coat of the Luminous Serum Foundation. And it gives me really pretty coverage. It still gives a really pretty glow to my skin, as you can see. And guys, I've been using our new Lumi Radiance Skin Care. Guys, it is so good so good like I can't even explain to you how good it is like it's incredible it works so good my skin I already honest to god I already can see a difference with my skin and I know people are gonna be some people and be like that's impossible but I'm telling you guys I'm telling you I see a big difference already and it's only been what not even two weeks I've been using it morning and night, but I have seen a huge difference. So I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep updating you guys and letting you know um, how it's working. But if you are someone with uneven skin tone, dark spots, um, like sunspots, and you have lost like that brightness to your skin for whatever reason, whether you have more mature skin like I do or whatever, I'm telling you guys, you need to go try that Lumi Radiance line. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you, for some reason, didn't like it, which I can't even see why you wouldn't, you can return it. But you have to, have to try this line. It is so incredible, and I love our Age Reversed line, and I still am using my Age Reversed line. I won't stop using that, because I love it. 
but I'm telling you, I've incorporated that with this new line and I absolutely love it. And the prices on the Lumi line is so good, guys. It's even a little bit less for most of the items than the Age Reversed line. So definitely go check it out. And I'm just setting my eyes with um, Cool Light Pressed Powder. I, I use it so much I've actually the cap the cover I broke the cover off because I was just manhandling it like an animal the other day <laughs> and it broke but um we have several powders to choose from guys okay we have different pressed powders that do different things we have a ton of shades we have a BB set um, BB powders we have our regular pressed powders we have um, a color correcting powder through the B fit line so tons and tons and tons of um, powders to choose from. So whatever shade you need, just go with it. And they really feel nice on the skin. Super, super silky feeling. And they just are really good powders. And now I feel like the sun is going to mess with my lighting. Let me see something here, guys. Hold on one second. Um, nope. <laughs> The sun's going to mess with me now. Okay, we're going to have that line across, and I don't know why. Let me see. Better? Okay. The, color, the, the, the lighting might be a little wonky, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. If I open my shade, then it's going to make it worse. So, anyways. um, Okay, so we've set our eyes. And like I said, plenty of setting powders to choose from. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go in with Wonderlust, okay? Gorgeous packaging. It's such a pretty palette, guys. I mean, look at that. Can you see all that beautiness, beautifulness, beautifulness? <laughs> I just made up a whole new word. All this gorgeous eyeshadow. Look at that. A little bit of everything is in this palette, guys. So you can create endless eyeshadow looks with this palette. I mean, it's drop dead gorgeous, easy to travel with. And I mean, it's just so pretty. And some of these um, highlighting shades, you can actually wear as a highlighter on your face. They're beautiful. Oh my God. So today what we're going to do is I am going to start off with... I think I'm going to start off with the color Smudge because Morocco is a little bit deeper. Yeah, I'm going to start off with the color Smudge and I'm going to start putting that in my um, crease. And I'm tapping off because it is a darker shade. So you want to tap off so you don't have a lot of fallout to clean up. With any darker shade, there's always that chance that you're going to get fallout. It's just with every company, I've never used a darker eyeshadow from any company that hasn't had some fallout to it. Especially if you don't tap off your brush. So again, this is the color Smudge. And we're putting that in our crease. Kind of just going simple today. Just a really pretty, like a, you know, pretty um, nude eye. You know, that no makeup, makeup look type thing. And I have some errands to do. So I'm going to just kind of keep it simple. And these colors blend out so nicely, guys. They are so easy to blend. They feel really good. They're super, super, um, like, silky feeling. So they're easy to blend. They feel so good, and yet they have so much pigment. And they're not blotchy, they're not um, 
you know, you don't have to use a lot of product. You get a lot of pigment. So you can start off really, you know, very light handed and then just build up from there. Which is how I like eyeshadows. I would rather um, be able to build up my pigment than to just take a little bit and have it boom, you know, like right there. And you have to blend for hours to get it to tone down. These are the perfect formulas um, for shadows, in my opinion. This is the type of shadow that I look for. And believe me, I've used a ton of eyeshadow over the years. And I these are my favorite types of shadows. You get the best of both worlds. A blendable and buildable shadow, which, you know, you can't go wrong with that. And we have four new palettes one of them is limited edition which is the 24k palette but then we have the glam up the iconic and then the wonderlust so those are the new ones um if you want the 24k i suggest that you go and get it soon because it is limited edition it will not be around too much longer so if that is a palette that you have seen and you really know you're gonna like i would hop on my website and go get it before it gets sold out Okay, so we have our crease color done. And now I'm deciding on, I could go with Sun Kiss, which is gonna be very similar. I think I'm gonna put a little Sun Kiss on the outer, which is kind of the opposite. Most of the time you'd put a darker color on the outer corner, but I think I'm gonna go with Sun Kiss on the outer corner and just change it up a little bit. It's like a peachy brown. Let me just wipe off that excess. It's a really pretty color, I'm like a bronze. It actually reminds me of the color of our bronzer, actually. That's what it reminds me of. It's almost like that same color from the bronzer. Really, really pretty. I'm just putting that on the outer corner. And like I said, I know that's the opposite of what most what you would do most of the time. Most of the time you're not you're putting a darker color on your outer corner, but hell, I got a ponytail on today, so I'm just going to do everything the opposite cuz I am just feeling really sassy today. <laughs> so, we're going to do it this way. Feeling sassy with my ponytail. Okay, so we have Sun Kiss on the outer corners. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger and I am going to take the color Melon and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and see what that looks like. I'm just using my finger. That's pretty. It just lightens up that inner corner a little bit, the inner corner of our lid. I like that. And I'm going to take a brush now and just kind of run that in. I'm going to dip it into that melon color. It's just a really pretty, almost like a soft peachy color. And then we're gonna go in with, I think we're gonna go in with the Peach Bite palette for our blush and our highlight. Okay, I like that. That's really pretty, very pretty. Okay, let me just clean up any, that's the other reason I don't set my entire face, guys, because this way, if I get any follow, I can go back in 
and clean it up. And then if I need to, I can put a little bit more foundation on that area, blend it out, and then I powder. That's just how I do it. Um, but I mean, you guys can do it any way you want. But I just find it a little bit easier that way. And then what I'm going to do while I have, um, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer. And I am in the shade Bisque. I like it because it's more of a pink toned concealer and it's a liquid concealer. It's a full coverage concealer, but it's super lightweight. You don't feel it, it doesn't get cakey. It doesn't settle into the lines, um, which I love. So it's an amazing concealer and we have um, liquid concealer guys and we have stick concealers. So if you like a stick form, you can have that choice. Or if you like a liquid concealer, then we have several shades to choose from on our liquid concealer. I like the liquid concealer because I am I have more mature skin. I find that the sticks are a little bit too heavy for me. So I like the coverage I get from the liquid one. And I love how it gives me a little bit of luminosity to under my eye and a really pretty brightness. So you can see that looks really nice. It doesn't like sit into everything. You know what I mean? Because mama's getting a little bit older. Her skin's getting a little drier. So... I try to detract from my under eye area. So even when I do highlight, I tend to just kind of stick around here. I don't go too high up because then it's just gonna bring attention to under my eyes and I don't want that. So now underneath for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna go in with, let me see what Noble will give me. I don't think that'll be dark enough, nope. Um, let me see what rose gold would be. I don't want that. So I think I'm actually going to just go in with that color, um, sun kissed and I'm going to run that underneath. And I'm bringing it right to the inner corner. Okay, then for our actual inner inner corner, I'm gonna go in with Strobe Dream, which is this really pretty um, gold. And I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner for some brightness. It's not a really super, super strong highlight, sh um, like gold. It's more of a subdued one, but it's just enough to add a little bit of brightness in that inner corner without it getting too, too much. You know what I mean? Because we want to keep it kind of new. This is like a more neutral, you know, just a kind of everyday basic simple eye look so we don't want to go too crazy with the highlight okay so wonderlust palette we used smudge sun kissed and we used strobe and melon so those are the colors we use i feel like i'm gonna sneeze again i've been having a sneeze in a fit i don't know <coughs> excuse me <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, let's make sure that our nose is clean because that would not be good. Okay. Okay, so now our eyes are done. We're gonna go in, well, except for mascara, obviously. I'm gonna go into the face sculpting. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna even contour, I think, with Peach Bite. Yeah, I'm gonna contour. So we're gonna go into the Peach Bite palette now. We're gonna use the contour shade to contour. And let me, let me get a brush. So I'm going to go into that contour shade. And I'm going to go in and put some color down. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to blend it out. Okay. 
So I usually just kind of go into a C shape. And when I contour down here, I take it above. I don't go in the hollows of my um, cheeks. I take it right above. And everybody's different when they contour. I think it's a very personal thing. Like everybody's totally different on how they contour. Um, I just prefer to contour higher up because I think it actually makes my face look thinner than if I do the hollows of my cheeks. And then I just go down, I take it down my neck. I do my jawline. And I'm just placing that product on my face. The other thing you can do is you can take a small brush and put a little bit of that contour shade underneath here. And it actually will give the appearance of a bigger lip. And then you just want to make sure, though, that you are blending. Whoops, that had shadow on it. Let's fix that. That still had shadow on it. Good Lord. Okay, so. Okay, now I'm gonna take my big fluffy powder brush and we're gonna go in now and we're going to blend out that contour color. And like I said, everybody contours differently. I am not the best at contouring. I've said that a thousand times. I am not like the best, but I'm learning, you know? I, I still do it. I still try every day. I wanna get better at it, you know? That's how you learn. I mean, I'm not a professional makeup artist. So, I mean, I'm I'm still learning things just like everybody else. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's how you learn. So, and the nice thing about this contour color too is it actually makes a really pretty blush. So as you're contouring, you actually have that blush. And then I'm gonna put a little bit down the sides of my nose and just kind of contour that a little bit and go back in with my brush. And you do want to be mindful that you are blending your contour because you don't want harsh lines, guys. That much I know. <laughs> you don't want it to be harsh. You don't want it to look too fake either, you know, and I don't want to make myself look like I'm trying to be five shades darker than what I am either. Um, so you have to be careful with the intensity of how much you're putting on too. That's just my opinion. I know some people go a lot heavier handed with their contour. They like that really dramatic contour and contrast. I tend to stay away from that. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it. I just, I just stay away from doing like a real heavy, heavy contour. Just not what I like. So, but you do you. Whatever you like is how you do it. Okay, so... Now let's go into the Peach Bite palette again, and we're going to go in with that um, blush shade. And I'm going to just pop that on my cheeks. And I love this palette, guys. The Peach Bite palette is probably one of my favorite palettes because you can do so much with it. And it's such a neutral, soft palette. Um, it's just super pretty. It's easy to travel with. And like I said, you can do so many looks. You can use all three shades as an eyeshadow look. You have your contour, your highlight, your blush. It's soft. It's really a nice palette for like a teenage girl that's just starting out doing makeup. Or maybe you're just starting out using makeup. This is such an amazing palette to use. It's just so nice. And it's under $20. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Okay, so we have our blush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the highlight shade from this trio. And I'm just going to pop a little bit right, right here. Okay. I'm not taking it 
all the way up. I'm just popping it in that one section. And again, I'm not taking it too high up because I don't want to accentuate my under eye area. So I'm just taking it right there, okay? So you still get a nice pretty glow, but it's not over, it's not overdone. And then you can bring a little bit down the center of your nose and the tip of your nose. And then if it's a little bit too much for you, go in with that powder brush and just tone it down. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we have all that done. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. And I think today for mascara, I am going to, um, I'm gonna go in with deep black because I haven't used it in a while actually. And let me just make sure now, because I haven't used it, I don't remember when I last got this. So it might be, it's looking a little, um, you know what guys, I think I'm, I might need to replace this. I wear deep black a lot, but I've been using the new one so much that I haven't really paid attention so let me go in with optimal today because this is brand new i'll have to reorder i need to reorder my deep black i need to reorder my zen and one other that's what happens when like if you have a favorite that you use every day like all the time it's so easy to remember to reorder but like with me i love mascara way too much so i tend to forget which ones i need to reorder so, oh, you know what? Actually, guys, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me, let me use the new vegan mascara. This is our new green vegan mascara. No, it's not green in color. It's green because it's vegan. This is the wand and the brush. Okay. It's a bristle brush. Really, really nice. So let me use that one. It's more of a natural looking mascara. I have to say it's not as um, intense as some of our other ones, but it's a really nice everyday mascara. And I love the wand because I love me a bristle wand and it's vegan, guys. So, you know, like what's not to love about that? But it does give a more natural look which is okay because we're just going out to do errands. Like I don't need a full glam lash. Sometimes it's nice to just have a very natural looking lash, you know? I am lucky that I have pretty nice lashes. You know, they're not super long, but they're not short either. So I can, use a mascara like this and still get a lot of benefit out of it and like i said it's vegan which is super important now people are becoming very very conscious of what they're putting on their skin what's going into their products um which is really good it's about time companies start stepping up and making products like this because it has become a very important part of people's lives. And because Pharmacy is a European-based company, we already ban over 1,300 toxic chemicals and that the United States otherwise allows. So we've already been way ahead of the game. This was just like another cherry added on because of it being a vegan mascara, but I mean, we've already been super, super conscious of what goes in our products. And we're really proud of that. Like we, we list what we allow, what we don't allow. And we're, I mean, we really are super proud of the ingredients that go into our products and we stand by them. So we already can, we already feel super good about, um, hold on, my camera's falling. We already feel super good about what's in our products. So that's always good. 
and hopefully my camera's not gonna fall again. I'm gonna watch you. <laughs> um, that's happened to me before. I've been almost done with a video and my camera has fallen. I think it's a sign to say, hurry up, Charlotte, stop chatting, put the makeup on and get going. Plus I need to clean the stand. It has like um, a suction cup. And I think after a while the dust gets underneath it and it just starts to not stick. And I did get a little spot on my, underneath my eye right there and I'll clean that off with a spoolie. So, yeah, um, so what was I saying? Oh boy, squirrel. Um, yeah, I think that it's really great that pharmacy already has amazing ingredients in their products. And now we've just been incorporating even more things that people can feel super good about using and trying and I think it's important because before people would just put anything on their skin, not really um, pay attention to what was going on their skin or what was in their products. And I think now people are really starting to be more mindful in searching out companies that have better um, ingredients, which is really good, you know? So let me get my spoolie. I'm trying to pay attention to that too. So I will say guys, um, as far as that primer, I'm not a fan. Uh, my face feels really sticky, like weird. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the prime. I don't know has to be the primer because everything else I use all the time. So not really a big fan of that. It's just very, like, I don't know. My face feels st like sticky or something. Kind of weird, but so I probably wouldn't use that again. I mean, I love our primers. I'm only using it till mine come in because then I'll go right back to my stroll primer because I love, love, love our stroll primer. But yeah, see, that's what I'm saying because... That primer is probably filled with a lot of stuff that I'm not used to having on my skin anymore. So, because um, I've been using Just Pharmacy now for a year. So, my skin's probably like, what are you doing, lady? Like, this isn't the primer we used to. But it's really important that you use a primer. So... Live and learn. It's just another test, a testament to um, how good pharmacy products are when you can immediately see a difference in products. That your skin immediately feels the difference. So that says a lot for our products. And it says a lot in a very positive way. So that is good. That's why in a way sometimes, oh, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> That's why in a way I like to use other products sometimes to compare just because I know how much better pharmacy is, but I just still want to be able to prove it to other people how much better pharmacy is. And are you kidding me? Just let that dry, guys. I will fix it. Let it dry. I'm going to look like a weirdo for a couple of minutes, but let it dry, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. Good God. Okay. Green vegan mascara. Look how pretty that is, guys, okay? That is really, really pretty. Like I said, it's more of a natural-looking um, mascara, but... It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Your lashes look beautiful, natural, 
It gives definition, it gives volume. I can't even take myself seriously with this on my nose. Like, oh my God, like I can't even. I seriously can't even look at myself. I wanna just crack up. Let me see if I can help it along and dry it quickly. Oh, geez. Yeah, no, it's not dry enough. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's better. Like seriously. As long as you let it dry, guys, it'll come off um, with the spoolie. It's when you try to do it when it's right when you do it and it's really wet, it will destroy your makeup. So just laugh at yourself for a few minutes, tell a couple of jokes, and then take it off. If you can't laugh at yourself, then really what you know what can you do if you can't laugh at yourself once in a while and i'm here to entertain so if i made you laugh i did double duty i made myself laugh and i made you laugh so it's a win-win right as long as you're laughing with me and not at me i would prefer that you laugh with me and not at me but hey as long as you laugh that's all that's important okay we're going to do a super neutral lip okay and let's see, what do we want to use today? Now, you know that I want to go, I want to say I want to go with 201, which is my favorite. My favorite. I love it. I love it. I love it. But oh, I use it so much. So let's see. Let me do this without knocking everything over. There's another shade that I'm looking for. Um, let's see if it's this one. Um, no, it's not that one. I'm trying so hard because this is right underneath where my camera is. What? Where is that color? Oh dear Lord, where'd it go? Am I seeing things? What am I doing? What am I doing? What is wrong with me? I think this ponytail's done something to me. Maybe it's pulling too tight on my head or something. I don't know. Oh my God, guys, I'm just gonna go in with skin. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. What is wrong with me today? I just seriously don't know what the heck's going on right now. Oh my God. You know what? Let me see. I kind of like that. That's pretty. All right. Let me go in with, I'm going to go in with the color skin first. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Two zero one, liquid matte, color is skin. Make sure you take it off your tooth if you get any. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I did not line my lip. Okay, that's what skin would look like on its own with no lip liner or anything. I go in with my finger and I usually just go in and kind of blend it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with 203 and I'm going to put a little bit of it right in the center. Pat that in. <laughs> Why you guys watch me and put up with me is beyond me. <laughs> oh my God. But I love you for it. I truly do. <laughs> oh 
my god, I need to wear this ponytail like every day because this is just giving me all kinds of feels today. <laughs> I'm serious. Mm, okay. I love this. This this color combo is everything. Like, it's just everything. You need this. It's 201 and 203. Even without a lip liner, look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. Okay. That's gorgeous. All right. The other thing that we didn't do is I didn't put a brow bone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the lightest shade from the um, Peach Bite palette. And I'm going to just pop a little bit of that underneath the brow bone because I forgot to put something there in all my silliness and this is just a really pretty soft um, color so it's not going to take away from the eye look which is good and let's see where'd my other brush go don't know. Oh, here it is. Okay. And I'm just going back in, just deepening that crease up a little tiny bit, just with the product that's already on my brush. I'm not adding any additional. I'm just, just deepening it up a little bit. Okay. This is flipping gorgeous. I absolutely I love the way this eye look came out. This is beautiful. I am so impressed. Wonderlust. Go get it, guys. Go get it. Um, we used that. We used the... Right, let's start from the beginning. Okay. We used Luminous Foundation, Serum Foundation Liquid, in the shade 04. We went in with the Wonderlust palette on our eyes in the shades Smudge, Sunkissed, Melon, and Strobe Dream. We used our Green Vegan Mascara. We went in with Cool Light Pressed Powder to set our eyes. We used our Liquid Concealer in the shade Bisque. Gorgeous. You need that concealer. Um, we used 201 and 203 on our lips. Then we use the Peach Bite palette to contour, for highlight, and for blush. And we have several blushes to choose from, guys. Several contour shades to choose from. You have the Face Sculpting um, palette, too, that you can use for contouring. So we have a bronzer you can contour with. So multiple choices for contouring, multiple choices for blushes, and multiple choices for our lipsticks, our lip lines. We have regular lipsticks, matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. We have a lip stain. You name it, we have it. So, so many things to choose from. You will never run out of ideas with pharmacy. You could keep buying pharmacy stuff and still find something new probably every time. So, it's insane. Um, and we have more coming in the new year. So, it's going to be crazy crazy good crazy in a good way because that's what we need we don't need crazy anymore bad crazy we need good crazy and good crazy is coming it's coming so stick with pharmacy because we're going to have some amazing stuff coming and you guys are not going to want to miss it so stick with me Make sure you follow my page on Facebook, Shouts Cosmetics and More with Pharmacy, because I am going to make sure that you never miss out on any new product releases, new launches. You're going to see makeup looks of the day. I'm going to show you swatches. You're going to find my video tutorials on there. Everything that you need to know about pharmacy, fashion, hair, all the good stuff. All the good stuff is on that page. Giveaways are on that page. So you want to be following that. Promise me that you go and follow because you're not going to want to miss out on all the good stuff coming next year. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be blown away. It's going to be exciting. I wish I could tell you some of the stuff. I know some of the stuff, but I can't tell you yet. I wish I could. Because if I could, I would, but I can't. So now you'll just have to follow my page. It's even more reason to follow my page so that you will be the first to know, right? And you don't even have to pay anything. Like I'm going to tell you for free. 
you just have to hit that like button. Super simple, easy peasy. Okay, did I tell you everything we used? Did we go over all that now? Good Lord, I think we did. But anyways, I'll list everything below. Um, well, you can just rewind this video and you'll know. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? I don't know. But I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, see, it's going to fall. It's saying, Charlotte, your time is up. Stop talking. You have talked these people's ears off enough. Technical difficulties. All right, I'm just going to hold it while I finish this video. Okay. Go visit the website for all the new stuff that's already released. Okay. It's on there, ready for you to shop. Um, as always, that link is www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. Again, we went over the Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. I'm here to answer any and all questions that you have. So feel free to message me. Or if you know me personally, text me, call me, whatever. Pigeon carrier, carrier pigeon, whatever you, yeah, carrier pigeon. Anyways, you got the deal. You know the lowdown. Message me. No questions too silly. You can ask me as many times as you want. I don't care. I'm here to please. I'm here to please and help you. So, and also, if you would like to sign up as a customer of mine and get 50% discount on everything you buy, message me and I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can do that and I will walk you through the process. It takes two minutes, two minutes, and you will be a pharmacy customer with moi and you're gonna get 50% discount, the same discount that I get as being an influencer only you do not have to sell a thing. That's just a thank you from Pharmacy for becoming a customer. And it's only $19.99. It's one time, one time only, no other fees, no nothing else. You pay your $19.99, you buy one product every six months. It can be as little as one Zen mascara every six months. And you're gonna get the same discount that I get without selling a thing, okay? Okay, so then if you want to be me, like me, not be me, you don't want to be me, God no. If you want to be like me and become a beauty influencer, then you pay your $19.99 to join. Only you will get on you will get 50% discount and 50% commission. So you get double whammy, 50-50, and a heck of a good time, a great adventure. You get to be with a great group of women, build a career, financial stability. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. So if you are looking to work from home, work from anywhere you are, all you need is a cell phone, a laptop, or a computer. That's all you need. That and $20. And you can become your own boss. You can work from anywhere you want, even on vacation, and you can make some really good money, build extremely good friendships, have a great support system, a free website, free trainings, everything. $19.99, no other fees ever, no hidden things, nothing. And we are the highest paid direct sales company right now, the highest. That speaks volumes, so you guys, seriously now. All the silliness got out of me for a moment. Now I have to just release that silliness. <laughs> seriously, if you are looking for a really good opportunity as a career in this type of field, if you like makeup, skincare, healthy, clean, high quality, affordable products that you can feel really good about selling to friends and families and strangers, and you like social media, you like being on social media, you already are on social media, you like taking pictures, you like trying new things, and being able to incorporate different aspects, guys, you need to try pharmacy. You just need to. No harm, no foul. Try it. If it's not for you, that's okay. But 
if it is something that you think that you want to do that is interesting, maybe you've watched me and you're like, eh, on the fence, girl, message me or, or guy. I'll, I'll, girls and guys are welcome to my team. So if you are interested, message me. I'll talk you about I'll talk to you about everything, explain everything to you, and maybe this will be the perfect fit for you. Maybe you're already with a company and you're not happy. Maybe it's not what you wanted and you're looking to make a change come 2021. Reach out to me. Reach out. You never know. Pharmacy could be the perfect fit for you. You won't know until you try. You won't know until you find out. So take that leap of faith. Take a moment, message me. I promise you, I will not hound you. You can message me and then it's up to you. I'm not going to chase you or hound you. It's totally up to you. If it's something that you want to do, awesome. If you want to sign up with me on my team, even more awesome. I will be there for you. I will help you. I'll support you. I will like be there as much as I can to help you. I will be there to congratulate you on all your accomplishments and get you going. And then the rest will be up to you and it will be your journey to be on, to do it the way that you're comfortable with and to go as far as you want. This, it, there really is no limit with pharmacy. You can go really as far as you want to go with pharmacy. So yeah, so message me, message me and start on a new journey. Okay, and like I said, customers are welcome. If you just want that discount, guys, message me. If you are currently a customer of mine and you want to take advantage of that, let me know and I'll let you know what you need to do. And yeah, so that's it. So guys, thank you so, so much for sharing this hour of your time with me. I appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day. And I will be back tomorrow with one more video and then we're going to take a break for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then I'll be back. So everyone, I will post one more video tomorrow. I will wish you all a wonderful holiday tomorrow, but I will wish that to you now in case we don't see each other tomorrow. I wish you all a very blessed, amazing holiday um, I know it's going to be different than we used to, but it can still be wonderful. It can still be full of blessings. So enjoy the time with the family that you are able to spend this Christmas with. Zoom call the other ones. Call them on the phone. Whatever you need to do, Skype. You can still incorporate other family members into the holiday, guys. And for any of those out there that have family and nursing homes and things like that. I feel you. I get it. I understand it. You all know I lost my mom to COVID in um, back in April. She was in a nursing home. I had not been able to see her for months before she passed. So my heart goes out to anyone who's not able to at least talk to their loved ones or see them by Skype or Zoom. Um, my heart goes out to everyone. My heart goes out to everyone who's lost someone this year. Um, yeah, and it just, I know how it is. It's its heartbreaking and I get it. So I hope that everyone enjoys Christmas as much as you possibly can. And may new blessings, new hope, new faith, and just good things um, come your way for 2021. That's my prayers for everybody. That's my wishes for everybody. And um, let's just hope that 2021 brings a lot of happiness and change and hope and faith. So, all right, guys. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all your support this year your kindness, your friendships. Um, it's meant so much to me, guys. So, so much. So from the bottom of my heart, from myself and my family, we all say thank you and we all wish you a very happy and Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.